Now say, have you looked under your bed lately? Now, perhaps there's nothing under there. But if you're like me, you'll find a dozen or so boxes storing everything from board games to irreplaceable snapshots. Well, today, I'm going to show you a better way to use that space with the help of a young friend of mine, Jonathan McCleary. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Pretty good today. I understand that you're quite a do-it-yourselfer. You've done quite a few projects on your own, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Like what? Well, I put the gardens in the backyard, with, and then we put a pond in the middle of one. Inside, we made the entertainment center, the model mahogany boat, and my desks. You did all these by yourself? Me and my dad do them all. So you're pretty handy with tools, aren't you? Mm-hmm. And I also know that you are quite a Legos guy. You got a lot of Legos in your collection, and you build a lot of things with them. So I was thinking about building an under-the-bed storage unit that you could just pull out when you wanted to get at your Legos. How's that sound to you? I would like that. You'd like it? Yeah. Come on over here. I want to show you the sketch I drew up. See what you think about this. All right? Basically, what we've got here is a big box to go under your bed. You know what the uh, the dimensions are? How much room do you have top from the floor to the bottom of the bed? Six and a half inches. Okay, so we got to make sure that the whole thing is not any higher than that, a little bit less for clearance. Jonathan takes to my power miter saw like he's been using it for years. He's cutting all the one by sixes that will be used for the sides of our storage unit. Alrighty, well, we've got our sides cut to length now. What we've got to do is cut next the joints on the end. And this is the joint that I'd like to use, Jonathan. This has got sort of a rabbit cut in the ends of both pieces. It's going to interlock just like this, okay? And I'm going to have you cut these on the table saw. I've set this up. You know what this is, right? Mm -hmm. What is it? Potato blade. Yeah, you know, you know a lot. You know that. This is actually three blades that are, as you know, stacked up together to make a really wide blade. And we're going to pass the lumber over it like this, and that's how we're going to make that cutout. After cutting the rabbits on the ends, we switch to a narrower blade and cut grooves along the length of each board. Later, we'll slide the bottom section of our storage unit into these grooves. Well, Ron, we're going to glue this thing together and make it happen. We are? Yes. I'm going to be out of a job here in a few months. You just watch this. <laughs> okay, so you've got your glue brush. Glue we got our joints all cut over here. You got your glue brush? I got my glue brush. And what we want to do is we want to paint glue on this rabbit joint that we cut here. Right now we're going to tip this up. Okay, now this one goes to the outside. Get this clamp. Put this right on the joint there. Right on the joint? And for the moment. Now we're going to nail this joint closed. With the three sides attached together, it's time to install our quarter-inch plywood bottom. And just slip this right into that groove that we cut earlier. See it? I'll hold it, and you can slide. I think it's in all the way. Uh-huh. I like that. It sounded good, didn't it? Like it was solid. All right. Now we can put our last side on here. It's beginning to look like an underbed storage unit. You want to Absolutely put a glue in here? Right. No, I'm not going to glue the bottom. I don't usually glue my bottoms in. Sometimes they expand and contract. Did you find that funny? <laughs> okay, now we're going to cut the wheels. And to do that, we're going to use this machine called a drill press and this tool here called a hole saw. You know why they call it a hole saw? Because it cuts holes in wood. Very good. Okay, you ready to do this? Yeah. All right. Here's how we're going to do it. This is an axle right here. This is a cap, okay? So I want you to drive the axle into the cap. Put a couple of washers on there. While you're doing that, I'm going to put some... This is very fast setting, five-minute epoxy right here. Okay. Just on the end, about a quarter of an inch back from the end. There you go. Nice and generous. Now, we're ready to put the wheel in that hole right there. Shove it all the way in. Take this piece of tape, like a clamp, and just hold it there. That epoxy will set in about five minutes. While we wait for the epoxy to dry, Jonathan drills some holes in the front of the storage unit so that we can install drawer poles. There we are. Just a couple turns. Let me know when it's gotten started. I think gotten you got started. It. Okay. Now I'll put the second one through. I think so. You got it. Mm -hmm. Very accurate drilling. You were right on the money. Ready for a test run? Yes, sir. 
Hey, I like this, huh? This is fun. Hey, it works really great. You know, I gotta tell you something. I think we did a darn good job. Does it meet your quality standards? I like it. It does meet my standards. Good. Can I help you carry it outside and load it on your bike? That'll be a big help. <laughs> Great for dance. Okay, where are you parked? Right out here? Yep. Is that the, uh, the two-wheeler, the red one? Yeah. All right. <laughs>